Okay, Mark, thanks very much for that. Meantime, the Israeli man shot and killed while visiting Baltimore for a wedding this week has been laid to rest back home in Israel. And there's now a $30,000 reward for anyone who has information that leads to an arrest. WMH News' Aaron McPherson is live at City Police Headquarters with that story this morning. But Aaron, still no arrest so far in that murder. Still no arrests in this case, but police say they have gotten a lot of help from people in the community, even when it comes to this reward. Now it is through Metro Crime Stoppers, but that money has also come from donations in the community. Organizations and people throughout the area have raised more than $50,000 to help with this. Now it was for funeral expenses for 31 year old Ephraim Gordon. He was laid to rest on Tuesday in Israel and just yesterday, $30,000 reward was announced. Now, community members have also helped police with supplying surveillance video of the shooting and the surrounding area around the same time to help with this investigation. Gordon was shot and killed early Monday morning in the 3700 block of Ford Lane while visiting his aunt and uncle's house. He was in town for his cousin's wedding. Police say three men attempted to rob Gordon when one of them shot and killed him. City Councilman Yitzhi Schleifer says the city needs to do something about all the crime in Baltimore to help bring closure to Gordon's family and so many others impacted by the gun violence. It's outrageous the level of violence that we face in the city and what's even more outrageous is the low clearance rates that we have. You know, you have a, a 59 to 60 percent chance of getting away with murder in Baltimore City and, and none of us should should be OK with that. There have already been more than 100 murders in the city this year. And if you have any information about what happened on early Monday morning, call Metro Crime Stoppers. That number 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Live here at BPD headquarters, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.